Okay, so now let's go into the sixth homework where we basically build a guessing game where the computer generates a random number from one to 50 and gives the user 10 tries to guess the answer. This homework could have been a little bit complicated. This is the hardest homework we ever gave, but hopefully you had a chance to at least try this. It's very important if you try it and fail rather than not even doing it at all. And in this case, you learn more from it. So if you haven't already, please try doing this. And after you try, then only watch this. You don't need to exactly get it correct, but at least just try it and try to build that skill and then come to this video. But nonetheless, let's go through the homework together to see how we do this. So open up VS Code. So this is the code that fulfills it. But there's many, many ways to do this. So if you have not gotten this way, but you got the answer, like you got exactly how like the homework specified it to be, then you are set. You're fine. Because there's multiple ways of doing this. Multiple. There's thousands of ways to do this. So this is the way I did it. But there's many ways that you can do it. So please just be sure to keep that in mind so that uh, you have like a specific number of times you can do it. Okay. So let's get into it. So I feel like first this can be put here. I mean, this is not exactly a, you know, let me keep it there and I'll show you why I was doing this. So let's keep it here. This is the code that I have before. So let's just run it to see if it works. So you welcome to a number guessing game. You have 10 tries to guess the number. You guess a number between one and 50. I'll guess 25 as that's the one in the middle. You guess a smaller value than the correct number. You have nine tries to guess the number. Okay, so let me do um, 35. You guess a smaller value. So the number is between 25 and 35 and you have eight tries left. So now let me do um, uh, 30, that's the middle. You guess a smaller value, so let's do 34. You guessed smaller value. Oh, this is smaller. Oh, my bad, my bad. I did not see that. So 40. So 40, 30, 37. And you guess the correct number. And this happens multiple, multiple times as the number keeps on changing because we do the random module. Okay, so now let's try it if you run out of tries. So let's delete the terminal and let's try it again. So guess the number between 150, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then you ran out of tries and the game is over. Okay, so now let's go through the code. You may be wondering like, what the world is this? So, I just realized I made a mistake on the homework. It should be using while loops, not for loops. Sorry if, if that kind of confused confused you all. Um, but you can use, in some ways you can use for loops here, but uh, I use the while loop. Actually, no, you can use a for loop, yeah. So again, this is just one way to do it. If you use a for loop and get the same exact thing, that's completely all right. You know what? Actually, a for loop will be very good for this. I didn't, I did not read my own homework. <laughs> Don't be like me. Okay, just joking. So um, let's just go through this code. So correct guess. Uh, we kind of did this already before. So my starting code was the homework that we did on conditionals, where we did the correct guess. Remember the guessing game that we did for homework, uh, homework two or three? I think it was homework two. Um, so just use this as a starter code, and then you can kind of work on it and then improve it a little bit. So you go in modules. So correct guess, tries left. So basically correct guess, guess a random number between one and 50. Remember I said 51, but the thing is here, it's remember start plus one or start plus step. Step here is automatically one. So it's 50 plus one. So it's 51. So it'll go from one to 50. You have to always minus, minus the step. Okay, tries is 10, tries left. Hopefully that makes the variable name make sense. So they start off with 10 tries and then slowly goes down until they get zero. 
guess is 51. I just put 51 here. It can be any number. It can be 100. I just don't want to make it so that like it will automatically say that you ran out of tries. But um, you can do whatever you want here. So, and then we just do print. Welcome to number guessing game. And then this is important. This condition is very important. While guess is not equal to correct guess. So that means while the user did not guess the correct guess and the tries left is greater than zero. For example, if the user guessed correctly, this will be false. This will be false. So false and true would be false. So that's why I'll go in here. If guess is equal to the correct guess, you guess the correct number. And then else you ran out of tries. That's only if it goes out of this. Again, you should kind of think about this, right? There's two ways this while loop will not, will not run. One is if guess is equal to correct guess or if tries is less than zero. That means less than or equal to zero. So that means, right, if guess is equal to equal to correct guess, which contradicts this, that means you guess the correct number. But if if the correct guess is not equal to this, right, the only other way that the while loop won't run is because tries left is greater than greater than zero. Oh, sorry, less than or equal to zero. So that means if tries left is zero, then it will be it will automatically seem that you ran out of tries. Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense, but. Based on the condition that we had here, this entire output changes. Just kind of remember that. So basically we print, uh, you have stir uh, tries left. Remember the stir, that's very important. This is a number, but you're converting it to a string so that you can concatenate it. Tries left to guess the number. I just do the print here so that it's a little bit like formatted nicely. You don't need to do that. And uh, we do guess is equal to int input, guess the number between one and 50, very important. We have the int to get the int to get the integer input and tries left is equal to tries left minus one. And so this basically like decrements the value so that this function or like this condition actually has meaning. And then if guess is greater than correct guess, you guess a larger number. If guess is less than correct guess, you guess a smaller number. And with vice versa. It'll keep on running through that over and over again. And once it either satisfies one of these or doesn't satisfy any one of these then this will run and then it'll say you guess the correct number or you ran out of trust. Hopefully that made sense. If you need any help, please be sure to contact me through my email, saladkanmuri at gmail.com. Uh, otherwise then, I'll see you all in the next class where we introduce our, to our first project, first and only project that we only have. So I'll see you there. Bye-bye.